When flying drone moves as a beginner, it can be hard to get smooth footage. Today, I'm gonna to show you a super easy trick that allows the drone to assist you in doing these drone moves so that you can get super smooth footage. And I'm gonna show you 10 examples of drone moves you can do using this little trick so that you can use them in your sequences and projects to get epic results. Let's jump right in. Now, if you're new around here, welcome. My name is Matthew and I create videos helping you get the best results from your camera gear and tech. So if you would like to see more of that, please consider subscribing and making sure that notification bell is on so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Okay, let's take a look at how you do this little trick and then I'll show you 10 example drone moves and exactly how to do them using the inputs on the controller. So this little trick involves using the spotlight tracking mode on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So what you want to do is you want to draw a box around any subject that you want to do a drone move around. So in this case, I'm gonna use this little viewing point and I'm gonna draw a box around this viewing point. With the drone in spotlight mode, what you'll notice is as you fly the drone around, the drone will automatically keep your subject in the center of the frame. And because the drone will automatically keep your subject in the center of the frame at all times, it means that you can do drone moves much easier because you don't need to make as many inputs on the controller. So for example, if you're doing an orbit, all you need to do is fly the drone right and the drone will automatically rotate and yaw the camera to keep your subject in the center of the frame as it's doing right now. Meaning instead of making two inputs on the controller, you only need to make one. The other thing that will help you do is get much smoother drone moves because you might find it quite hard to do certain drone moves such as an orbit while keeping your subject in the center of the frame. Well, because the drone is doing this for you, you will get much smoother clips. Now here's a top tip. After you've drawn a box around the subject that you want to do a drone move off, you want to move the drone around a little bit until you see that tracking box change to a position marker. You can see it's just changed to a position marker there now. Now this will enable you to get much smoother clips. Now the reason for this is, whenever there is a box around your subject, the drone is continually checking to see if that subject has moved. Much as if you were tracking yourself walking or someone running, for example, the drone would need to continually keep track of that subject. But because this is a static object, this little viewing point isn't going to move, that box would result in the drone making little micro adjustments all the time. And that means that your footage wouldn't be as smooth when you're doing a move around it. When it changes to this little position marker, the drone is no longer checking to see if that subject has moved. It is locked in to that position, and if whatever is beneath that position moves, well, the drone is not going to track it. But what this means is you will get much smoother clips because the drone isn't going to be continually making them little micro adjustments. So the first move you can do is your standard orbit one of the classic drone moves that always looks epic. Now to do this using the spotlight mode, it's super straightforward. All you need to do is hit record, and then if you want to orbit to the right, push your joystick right in stick mode too, and the drone will automatically keep that subject centered so you get this beautiful orbit. If you would like to orbit to the left, all you need to do is push your right stick to the left, and the drone will automatically orbit around the subject to the left. Again, only requiring one input on the controller and you get super smooth results. Now you can do this orbit move at a range of distances from your subject. So I can actually fly the drone much closer now to this little viewing point. And then with the drone in cine mode, moving the right stick to the right, you can see you get this beautiful orbit around the viewing point at a much closer perspective. Now, another good thing about using this spotlight mode is if you find it hard to do moves such as an orbit in faster drone modes, such as normal mode, because you just find it hard to keep the subject centered when the drone is flying that fast, in spotlight mode, the drone will assist you in doing this. Because you don't need to worry about the subject being centered the entire time, you can put the drone in normal mode and do an orbit. In this case, I'm gonna do an orbit to the left. Using this faster drone setting, and you will still get super smooth results where the subject stays centered the entire time. Now, because the drone is assisting you in getting these drone moves, and in the case of the orbit, you only need to make one input to have the drone orbit around your subject, you can start to get creative. So the next drone move you can do is a zooming orbit. This is where you zoom into your subject as the drone is rotating around it. 
Now to do this, all you need to do is hit record, start in orbit either to the right or left using the right joystick, and then at the same time, slowly zoom in towards your subject by turning the right scroll wheel on the back of the RC controller. So you get this awesome zooming orbit effect. Another way you can mix this drone move up is by having the drone ascend or descend while you're doing the orbit move, which again is super straightforward because the drone is managing the orbit for you. Now to do this, again, you need to start the orbit either to the right or left, but this time, if you want to descend while doing the orbit, you simply want to pull the left joystick down if you're using stick mode two, and you get this awesome descending orbit effect. Now, if you want to ascend while orbiting, in this case, I'll orbit to the left. Again, you just want to start the orbit motion and then you ascend the drone by pushing the left joystick up and you get this epic orbit ascending drone move. Now, before we take a look at the next drone move, I just wanted to thank today's video sponsor, which is Wirestock. Now, if you have ever considered trying to make a little bit of side income by selling the videos and images you capture with a drone on stock marketplaces, then Wirestock makes this process so much easier. Wirestock is a tool that helps you take the clips you capture with drones such as the DJI Mini 3 Pro and then upload it to only one location, the Wirestock website and then they distribute it to all the major stock marketplaces. To make things even easier, you can use Easy Submission, and they will go through and add all the metadata to each piece of stock for you. This is great because you can put all your effort into getting the best videos and images possible with your drone, edit them, upload them, and let Wirestock handle the rest. As mentioned, the best thing about Wirestock is that you don't need multiple accounts on all the stock marketplaces. You only have one account on Wirestock and one dashboard to track everything, including how many downloads you have had, and more importantly, the earnings for each clip. Wirestock also automatically creates a portfolio page for you, and you can use this to sell your stock directly to potential buyers by sending them the link. So if you want to try making a little bit of side income by selling the videos and images you capture with drones such as the DJ Mini 3 Pro, then head to the link in the description where you can get started with Wirestock right now. The last version of the orbit that you can do that again looks incredible is either the push forward or the pull back orbit. And again, this is made super straightforward to do because the drone is assisting you in doing this drone move. So to do the pull back orbit using this spotlight trick, you simply want to pull the right joystick either down and right to do a pullback orbit to the right or down and left to do a pullback orbit to the left. So in this case, I'm gonna do it to the right. So I'm gonna pull the joystick down diagonally to the right. And you can see as the drone orbits this viewing point, it's also flying backwards, giving you this great revealing shot and showing you more of the landscape in the background. Now to do a push forward orbit, you simply want to move the right joystick up and to the right if you want to do a push forward orbit to the right or up and to the left if you want to do a push forward orbit to the left. So in this example, I'm gonna do it to the left. So I'm pushing my joystick up and to the left and you can see the drone is starting to push forward and close in on my point of interest while also orbiting around it. And this is great for starting with a wide clip of your surroundings and then pushing in close to your point of interest. Now the next move I think looks great is what's called a push forward descend. Now, this is where you push forward and descend towards your point of interest or subject at the same time. Now if you try doing it manually like I'm doing here, what you might find difficult is keeping your subject centered horizontally or vertically in your frame as you do it. And what you might find is by the time you get to your point of interest, it started to kind of drift either to the left or right because it can be tricky to keep your drone flying perfectly straight while keeping your subject centered, especially if it's a windy day and your drone's getting blown about a bit, you might find the drone is meandering in the air or as in this example, when you get to your point of interest, it's no longer in the center of your video. Well, using this spotlight trick, you don't need to worry about that. So again, you want to draw a box around your point of interest and then you want to move the drone around a bit in the air until you see the position marker appear. And now we can do a push forward descend and the drone will keep our subject centered for us. So to do this, you simply want to push the right stick forward and then you want to pull down on the left stick at the same time. And you will see we get this epic push forward descend move. And the great thing about using this mode is the drone will actually control the gimbal for you to make sure your point of interest stays centered vertically 
at the same time as well. Now the fact that the drone controls the gimbal in this mode automatically to keep your point of interest centered allows us to do more complex drone moves which are usually quite tricky to do smoothly such as the rise up gimbal down. Now in the rise up gimbal down you ascend your drone in the air while gimbling down to keep the focus on your point of interest. But having the drone rise up at a constant speed while smoothly lowering your gimbal to keep that point of interest centered is something that takes a little bit of practice. But using this mode, all you need to do is ascend the drone and the drone will automatically control the gimbal for you. So all you need to do is hit record and then slowly start to rise your drone in the air by pushing the left joystick up. And you will see that as the drone starts to ascend, it's automatically lowering that gimbal to keep the focus on that point of interest, allowing you to pull off this awesome drone move in a super easy way. Now you can also reverse this move to do the descend gimbal up, which is where as the drone descends, the gimbal rises up, again keeping the focus on that point of interest. And in this mode, all you need to do is pull the left joystick down to start descending the drone. And as the drone is descending, you will see that the gimbal is automatically rising up to keep your point of interest in the center vertically. Another move that I think looks absolutely fantastic is the push forward gimbal down. Now in this move, as you fly forward, you want the gimbal to lower down towards the ground so that as you get closer to your point of interest, you start to look down over the top of it, giving you this amazing perspective. Now to do this using this mode, all you have to do is fly towards your point of interest because again, the gimbal is automatically controlled by the drone to keep that point of interest centered. So the gimbal will automatically lower itself as you get closer to your point of interest. So in either semi or normal mode, you simply want to start recording and then fly forward towards your subject by pushing the right stick up. And as you can see, as we're flying towards this little viewpoint, the gimbal is automatically lowering down so that you get this aerial view of that viewpoint. And you can start to see the pathway behind the viewpoint coming into view from this top down perspective. And I think this is just an epic little move that looks really good in any drone sequence. Now again, you can reverse this to do the pull back gimbal up. And this is a really good move for starting with the focus on your point of interest. And then as you pull back and the gimbal starts to rise up, you can reveal your subject in its surroundings. So all you need to do to do this is start with your drone above your point of interest. You want to hit record and you want to fly straight back by pulling the right stick down. And as the drone starts to fly back, the gimbal will again automatically rise up towards that horizon. And you can see we've went from this top down perspective with the focus on our point of interest to now starting to reveal it in its surroundings so you get a better perspective of the location in general. Now, one of the classic perspectives you can get with a drone and is a perspective that can really only be achieved easily with a drone is the top down. But you can spice your top downs up using this mode by adding movement to it. Now, all you need to do to do this move is push the right joystick right if you want to rotate right or left if you want to rotate left. Now, I recommend sending mode for this and you want to be super gentle on the joystick so that the movement is nice and slow. Now I'm going to do this to the left, so I'm just going to very gently push the right joystick left. And as you can see, the drone starts to rotate around this viewpoint. We're getting this amazing top-down perspective, but just by adding a little bit of movement like this, it just makes the video so much more dynamic. And this is a move that will work so well in a range of locations to give you awesome looking results. So there you have it, 10 easy drone moves you can do using the Spotlight Trek on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Hopefully these drone moves give you some inspiration so that you can use them in your sequences and projects to get great looking results. Now if you've liked this video and you've learned something new, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you love all things drones and camera gear and want to know how to get more cinematic videos and better images with that gear, then I recommend you check out my channel where I have a ton of other videos that will help you get better results. If you would like to see my upcoming videos, please remember to subscribe and make sure that notification bell is checked so that you don't miss them when they are released. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to stick around and see a few more of them videos now, here's a few I personally recommend. I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.